Hey everyone, Joystick News here, bringing you some intriguing news from the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. In today's video, we're diving deep into a fascinating aspect of the game, the exclusion of elves as a playable race, and trust me, it's all for a good reason that aligns perfectly with the game's lore. Let's get into it. Introduction to Dragon's Dogma 2's Freedom and Character Creation Dragon's Dogma 2 is a game that prides itself on giving players an unprecedented level of freedom. You can tweak and fine-tune your characters in ways you've probably never seen before thanks to an in-depth character creation system. Whether you're a seasoned gamer or a newcomer, you'll appreciate the easy mode that helps you navigate this complex system with a vast library of preset models. The World of Dragons Dogma 2 – Humans, Bistron, and Elves While you can choose to play as either a human or a bistron, you might be wondering, why can't I play as an elf? Well, it turns out there's a lore-rich explanation for this. Elves do exist in the game's universe, but they live secluded lives in a place called Sacred Arbor, deep in the Malachite Forest of the North. This isolation is both geographical and cultural, as elves speak their own language, which other races can't understand without a pawn who is versed in elvish. Why elves are not playable the decision to exclude elves as a playable race isn't just a random choice. It's woven into the very fabric of the game's world. Elves have chosen to live apart from other races, staying deep within their forest sanctum. There aren't even quests that lead you directly to their homeland. You'd have to either accidentally stumble upon it or seek it out after learning about its existence. This design choice enriches the game's narrative. It adds a layer of mystery and allure to the elves while emphasizing the game's theme of exploration and discovery. It also makes the role of pawns more crucial, as they can bridge the communication gap between players and the elusive elves, adding depth to the gameplay and interactions. Future of Elves in Dragon's Dogma Looking ahead, who knows, perhaps the next installment in the Dragon's Dogma series might introduce elves as a playable race. But for now, their absence is a compelling narrative device that enhances the game's lore and makes the world feel more expansive and mysterious. So, while it might be disappointing for some that they can't play as an elf, the game offers a justified and well-integrated reason that fits perfectly within the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. It's a testament to Capcom's dedication to deep, immersive world building. Who knows what secrets still lie hidden, waiting to be discovered by the most adventurous players. That wraps up our deep dive into why you can't play as an elf in Dragon's Dogma 2. If you enjoyed this exploration into the game's lore, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more insights, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe you've got a theory or two about the elves? Let's hear it. Until next time, keep gaming.